This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, The Past 57 on YouTube. The best nigga making beats since the best nigga making beats, a.k.a. Mr. Click Clack. Bang! Y'all already know I'm bringing y'all tip off Tuesdays. We playing NBA 2K13. This is episode 10. We playing my team. Y'all already know. And I wanted to talk about a few things. Of course, we want to talk about the gameplay. We're going to get into the do you think. They go Gerald Green. <laughs> they go that boy Gerald Green. Get yourself. Y'all finish the statement. Let's go. But, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into the do you think. But, you know, I just want to say for starters that I put like a little message in my intro. The little um, text that I wrote at the bottom. And I want y'all to really start checking those out. In the beginning of my videos because I'm going to leave like a little message there for y'all. Something inspirational. Something, you know, may maybe it's witty. Maybe it's funny. Maybe it's sarcastic. Just check that out though. That's something new I'm doing. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not. But that's something new that I'm doing. But um, I actually have one of the Cleveland Cavaliers jerseys. And I noticed ever since I switched jerseys from, the, from my Brooklyn, my New Jersey throwbacks. My Brooklyn Nets um, jerseys. You know, aka the Jersey, New Jersey Nets throwbacks. Excuse me. I've been, you know, catching a lot of L's, man. So you see, I'm down by five right here. Did you see Duke Rasta though? If y'all didn't pay attention to Duke Rasta, rewind this joint. There go Joe Green again. Bang! Let's go. Get yourself a. Y'all finished my statement. <laughs> but if you didn't, um, good pass right there. Wow, look at the pass. But if you didn't um see dude roster, go back and look at his roster. He had LeBron at point guard, Larry Bird at center. Like his team was stacked. So you see, I'm trying to put up a fight right here. It's 29. It's 29. He up 29. I got 22. Pulled the three right there. And I bangs the three. But before we get into all this commentary about the gameplay, we're going to get into the do you think. And I think I think this is a good one right here. So, the do you think for this week is, do you think Kobe Bryant will ever win his sixth ring? Not di I'm not saying just this season. I'm saying for the rest of his career, do you think Kobe Bryant will get another ring? Co and the reason I brought this up is because the Lakers are finally at 500. They like a, I want to say two or three games back of the eighth seed. And they play Oklahoma City tonight at 930. On TNT, like this is about to be a game right here. I think this is going to be like one of those games. So, I personally think Kobe is going to spaz out. Now, do y'all want to know my opinion? I don't care. I'm going to give it to you anyway. I don't. Th I think Kobe's done. Not done like with, as far as play, but I'm talking about I think he's done as far as getting rings. I think he got five and I think he's done. I don't think he will win anymore. I don't care if the Lakers do make the playoffs this year. I think they will either, whatever spot they get, they will lose in the first round to either the Thunder or either the Spurs. So, um, I personally think Kobe's done with getting rings. I don't think he will win anymore. Look at Corey Maggette. <laughs> he was a he was an addition I had got out of a purple pack. I sold him back, though, so y'all won't be seeing him on my team, I think, after this game. But as you've seen, you've seen the halftime score. It's 40 to 40. I made a little nice little run to get back in the game. Let's see how this plays out. But as far as Kobe, I think Kobe is done as far as winning rings. 
But I want to know what you guys think. You know what I mean? I know some of y'all might be Kobe supporters. And, you know what I mean? Y- y'all believe Kobe going to catch Jordan with the sixth ring and probably overtake him with like a seventh ring or something. So, I want to know what you guys think. The do you think for this week is do you think Kobe Bryant will ever get his sixth ring? That's the question. So, let me know what you guys think. But if you look at this dude's team. You see, he was going in with these three-point shooters. Look at trying to take a charge right there. He had all three-point shooters in LeBron and Bird. And they go Harrison Barnes. They go Harrison Barnes. Let's go. Dunk intensity 89. I was trying to. I was trying. Look at this. Dell Curry he got. Oh, my God, yo. Like, I don't know. I don't. Yo, after this video right here, maybe I, I think I got one more video to post after this one. And then y'all going to see the rebuilt team. The team is rebuilt. We reamped the whole team, so I'm going to probably be bringing y'all that video. Not this Thursday, because this Thursday I got a special Call of Duty video. I know some of y'all be like, ah, Call of Duty. But I really want you guys to check this video out on Thursdays, on Thursday, because this video Thursday is about hip-hop. It's about the state of music, rap music, hip-hop, R&B. So I'm going to speak on a lot of those topics on this game, on this gameplay on Thursday. So I want you guys to... uh Tune into that. As you see, we get the steal right here. We pushing it with Wilcox um, to Dwight to Jail Green. Get yourself for Gerald Green. I had to finish the statement right there because Jail Green was going in. Let's go. You see, we down. We down 11. So we trying to get back in the game. They go um, Jared Dully with the nice layup right there. We fast forward ahead again. You see, I'm still down 11. Trying to get something popping. So I said, you know what? I got three point shooters too. West Matthews Jr. for three. Let's get it. Hey, you come down with LeBron. LeBron is, LeBron is a tough dude to stop, man. And he passes it to Melo. Melo bricks, and it goes out of bounds. That dude had Melo. Yo, he was stacked, yo. Just If you didn't look at this dude's team, check his team out. You see, I pop with Jared Dudley, and I get fouled. So, usually I don't put free throws in it, but this is Jared Dudley. This is my guy. So, on NBA 2K13, let me say that. Pause that. Pause that last statement. But we pulling the, th- the three free throws with Jared, with Jared Dudley and all those joints is is bangers. They, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm clutch at the line. So we back in the game. We down five. So I'm feeling kind of good. Like, okay, I got this dude on the ropes. So he passes it to Larry Bird, passes it to James, and pulls it with Anthony. Like, I don't understand. Like, because you can't switch faster than the person could pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it switched to the wrong guy. So I don't know how you're supposed to cover that, man. I really don't. So, you know, all y'all probably going to. I'm going to have a good sequence in this gameplay right here, too. Good pass right there. Dwight, let's go. You can see a big dog down there. You got to be a man when you when you a big man. Dwight, get your shit together in real life. As you see, Jerry Tully pulls another three. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, the dude was cheesing me with threes. So, I had to pull threes, too. Like, y'all know I don't normally play like that. And y'all go, look at that, bro. I don't know why I didn't go over there. Like, I should have known that shit was wet. But as y'all are going to see at the end of the game, look at Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes played a great game, um, this game right here. But, oh, good steal right there by Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes was a steal and an easy layup for a deuce. Down five again. But y'all know I don't normally pull a bunch of threes. Y'all going to see that as um as um I put the stats up at the end of the video like I always do. But watch this on-ball defense right here cuz a lot of people comment and be like, "Yo, you don't play on-ball defense." It's hard to play on-ball defense when the computer don't they don't switch properly. Like they always sagging off they meant. Look, sagging off. So I switch. I thought he was going to pull a 3. He do the lateral movement, pulls the 3 with Melo, but luckily Melo missed. Has some bars pushing it. Those the alley to Jevil Green. Let's get it. Down 7. Oh, excuse me, down three, excuse me, 80 to 77, let's get it, here you go, look at the on-ball defense again, playing on-ball defense, good on-ball D against LeBron, and look how they all collapse in and lead it, come on, that is like depressing, y'all, seriously, that is, like, if you play my team, that is depressing, but as you see, he up by six, 83, 87, we played a foul game, Trying to get another three popping over there with J.J. Reddick. Pulls it. It's not working out. And this looks like it's going to be another loss, y'all. Like, I, y'all going to see the re team, team. Y'all going to see real, <laughs> real, real drastic improvement. So, 
This your boy Authentic973. This your boy The Past 57 on YouTube. I want to know y'all opinion on the do you think. You see Melo and Dwight there talking. LeBron clapping it up. He a hoe. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to thank y'all for watching. Comment on the do you think, man. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all, man. Y'all know how I end my shit. Bang.